Well, he's been around a while and you probably recognise him. TJ, Tim James, has been entertaining us for more than a decade. And while he may not have sold a million CDs or ever been on MTV, the streets of Canberra have been paved with a kind of gold for this irrepressible performer. Sometimes it's pure talent, for others just a lucky break. For everyone else that aspires to the top, there are dreams. To play a part in this place, the that's and of course the music to warm your spirits on a cold winter's day outside the Canberra Centre. For the past 14 years, Tim James, or TJ as he's known, has been busking his talents and selling his CDs outside Canberra's shopping centres. What you allow me to do keeps me grateful for you. All these things are... I remember this very vividly. I was four years old and I saw Elvis Presley on the telly. This is in 1977, just before he died. And they were having all these specials and I was four years old. And I remember sitting in the bean bag in, um, you know, little, little kids, sitting in the bean bag in Lyons where I used to live with my parents and um, just being mesmerised and um, thinking, that's a good job. I want to do that. And it was interesting because before that, I was obsessed with lawnmowers. Growing up in Canberra, Tim James fell deeper in love with music. He was determined he would be an entertainer. His cerebral palsy would not get in the way. I'm a musician and I do have a disability and I, and I fully embrace that. Nobody likes to be born with any kind of starting behind the eight ball. But um, in a way it, it's worked out really well because I'm really, really passionate about raising money and awareness for cerebral palsy and cerebral palsy organisations um, and I think you know as long as my music is good enough to contribute to showing people that they can they can achieve their dreams but there was another passion in TJ's life someone was taking a keen interest in the musician when he appeared at Woden Plaza and I liked the, his voice and yeah, his um, passion for the keyboard. I actually really admire the fact that sometimes it was really cold then in 97, 98, the winter, and he was still there. It was, like, amazing. <laughs> so in a very real sense, uh, busking changed your life dramatically. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. And if you hadn't gone busking that day or those, those weeks, yeah. you may, may not have met your wife. Well, you know, it's... Um, busking is changed my life in, in various ways. There's been a lot of opportunities that have come through that. Um, a lot of people have seen me doing that, so, and this is definitely the best thing that happened from that. <laughs> now married and expecting their first child, there are new inspirations for this songwriter who's just released his third CD, All Originals. The, the previous songs were written more about like his life where I wasn't around. So now, because he's starting to write real, um, songs, especially since our wedding five years ago, that are about our relationship, that yeah, it, um, it does mean a lot to me because he's able to express how I'm feeling and that does make me, um, they are tears of joy. <laughs> so, so although I think at the present being pregnant eight months, I tend to be a bit more emotional <laughs> as well. TJ James, music performance artist and songwriter will perform an original song and piano composition. When you're feeling lonely. Tim James has performed in many and varied venues, here at the Chinese Embassy, and next week begins a national tour. The tour kicks off in Melbourne. It's during National Cerebral Palsy Week, and I'm going to play at, uh, at various functions that are happening during National Cerebral Palsy Week around the country and it's very exciting. What I'd love to be doing and you know and I'm already working towards it is um, working with cerebral palsy organisations across the world and 
promoting my music, you know, working hand in hand with them and, and promoting my music and helping raise money and awareness for, for cerebral palsy organisations across the world because um, I, I believe that I just want to get out there and, and prove to people that anything's possible. with the music and of course the new baby.